Hello folks, welcome back. In last video we have set up our Docker and Jenkins communication. It was working fine. In this video I am going to create a new job to copy our artifact onto Docker host. Once it is available on Docker host, it is easy to copy artifact onto Docker container. With that I am going to create a new Jenkins job. Go to new item. Deploy on Docker. Instead of choosing Maven, what I will do, I am going to copy all the configurations from previous job. So it's like a copy of our previous job. But I am going to change according to Docker deployment. GitHub is same. Polycm I don't need for this job. Build is same. And we are not going to deploy on a VM, so I am removing it. And post build actions, we should choose send build artifacts to our SSH. So it is going to send the artifacts to target server through SSH. Here we have configured only one server that is Docker host. That's why it's get populated. If you have more servers, you can see under drop down list. Now source file. So where exactly our file does located? Usually the file get creates under workspace. It creates a folder called targets. Under target, you can see the var file. If you need more information, you can click on question mark. It gives the details what it is expecting. We should get the path of the var file. Where does it located? Let's jump into our Jenkins server to get that. I'm on my Jenkins server and PWD. I'm inside workspace. If you do ls, I'm going to check in the previous job where the artifact is available. In the same location, it will be created in the new job as well. With the job name, one folder get creates. Under that, we have web app, then targets. Here we have where file. So the path would be after your job name, whatever is there, that is the path. So this is the path web app slash target and star dot where you can give or else you can give the full name of your var file next to remove prefix while it is copying it copies the directory structure as well if you don't need this directory structure you can remove it but let it be like this for now i'm going to remove in next build in remote directory where do you want to copy by default it copies the artifact onto users home directory in our case our user is docker admin it copies artifact onto docker admin home directory. So I am just giving dot so that uh, in the current directory it is going to copy. Execute commands. If you want to execute any commands on remote host you can specify over here. But right now I am I don't want to execute any commands over there. So just apply. Save it. Before building this job let's jump into our docker server and see what is there in the docker admin home directory. This is our docker admin. I am already in docker admin home directory instead of that one. Let's move to docker admin pwd. Who am I? I am a docker admin and I am inside the my home directory. Let's build the job. Build it. So it's building job. All right, build is successful. After building, it's tried to connect to our Docker host. Yes, it's connected and transferred one file. Good. Everything looks good. Let me do ls. Yes, you can see. So cd web app target ls if you see yep where file is there so it's copied successfully now if you don't need web app slash target you need to modify your job little bit go back to your job modify configure and uh, remove prefix i'm going to give web app slash target so it is going to remove this directory structure while copying onto target system. Apply, save. Before building it, let's remove the 
existing artifact cd tilde going to home directory ls rm minus rf web app so nothing is there let's build the job okay build is successful again now let's do ls yes you can see this time var file has been copied directly under our home directory this is how you can transfer your files to target systems by using jenkins all right now we want to copy this artifact onto our docker container which we are going to create newly for that purpose we need to write a docker file in next video i will show you how to write a docker file